Hey, and welcome to Double Nuclear with Every Gun episode... I lost count. Uh, FAL. Oh, wait, wait. It's a triple nuke. I'm sorry. So, this is a triple nuke FAL non-scuff controller for once. I'm telling you, every person who uses this gun has that scuff trigger stops and make it hyper turbo, so it becomes a really powerful gun. So, this is a triple nuke. You know, let me get it out of here quick. You'll never see a triple nuke against people who even know how to shoot back at you. A double nuke, maybe, because uh, it, it takes one person who gets one accidental kill on you to kill you and destroy that kill streak. So that's the point I'm trying to get across. It might not be the most entertaining gameplay, but having a triple nuke is really just uh, its the impressiveness of having it. So now that we got that covered, this is non-lethal, like usual. I've never seen a lethal triple nuke. I think they'd be really impressive. Probably the equivalent of a quad nuke. Which is, uh, impossible. So, I have two things to say, and then leading up to my main topic. Not really a specific topic in general, just something I want to get it out there. First off, I may be a little, a few days late on this, but if you haven't played that, uh, what's it called? Uh, Call of Duty Black Ops 2 recently on Xbox, or I don't know what it is. You should have been given the ability to vote for four different camos, one that you like the most. I don't know the names of all four of them. Okay, Comic Book, Cyborg, Dragon, and Paladin. Now, they are all cool looking. And whichever one you vote for, the top two get put into the game, I'm pretty sure. Or you have to buy them. Which I don't know about that, but they're still really good. I actually think I might have covered this in my last video, but whatever. The camos are actually good. These are camos that I might put on my gun had they been free if they are going to be free I think the voting ends May 28th so if you're not on by then you don't vote it does not classify as your vote so it doesn't go through you know what I'm saying so with that in mind here we go another thing is the ghost Call of Duty Ghost DLC will of course come to Xbox one first like usual I did do a little bit of research and look at uh, a whole bunch of like readings and articles about why this happens. It seems like Xbox, Microsoft in general, helped Activision, Tri Treyarch, Infinity War, just all the Call of Duty people to actually raise their game from the ground. And that's what I was looking at and seeing that they were helped a lot by uh, Microsoft and not really uh, Sony. So that's why I think, and that's what I got from the conclusion I've been reading, is why Microsoft gets stuff first a month early. Thank God, I like it a month early. Even no DLC, it's starting to you know, wear on me because you're not as getting as much as the twenty dollars or fifteen or whatever you're putting in there. You're not getting it all. I'm telling you, it's it's one map that you have a. And trust me, I've uh, I downloaded the Call of Duty mapping tools for World at War and made a map in around a day or two that was about the same size as Alcatraz. Yeah, it's not as detailed, but when a professional and a whole team of them do it and it takes a whole month or two, I don't believe that. I mean, they are making their new stuff and anyways. It's not as much work as they think it is and uh, how much money they... Really, the DLC should be free. For how much money they make a year on a Call of Duty, the DLC should be free. But then they make double the money because that's all they want is money. But then again, I keep complaining and then buy it, so who's the hypocrite here? Whatever. On to the next thing is the next and final topic is 10 things I don't want for the next Call of Duty, and maybe five times 10 things that I do. Starting with number 10, hold on, let me start this up. It's, it's This is not a top 10, this is just 10 things. You know, it doesn't go from top 10 all the way down to number one, which I would hate the most, you know, something like that. You know, screw that, it is. Starting with, I don't even know what I should start with. I'm waiting for this thing to load, so, I could do it, but now it's loading by ones. So whatever, let's just say 10 things I want in the next COD. One is a lot more uh, non-lethal killstreaks. I do not know, I, I'm not brainstorming right now how to do non-lethal killstreaks, but they definitely have become something more fun to play with, because honestly, I hate lethals. I hate when people run them. I hate when people brag about their stats when all they use is lethals. Because it is pretty cheap, and really, you go on one swarm after getting 7 kills, and then bumping the hard point 15 times, and then you get 30 kills. So, that's what I'm a little flawed on. 
And if they are going to introduce lethals in a in a new manner, you know what I'm saying, they should make them a little bit weaker, make them a little bit harder to get, because the swarm in the beginning of the game was really hard to get. It's like, oh, I got a swarm. And then later on, it's like, Psh, another swarm, whatever. So, and I was actually looking back at the original Black Ops multiplayer tra trailer, not really teaser, but the original trailer, and the swarm was actually different looking, and uh, the gun sounds were a lot different. If... If you have time, actually go back and look at that original trailer and see the differences between the final game, what we're playing now, and the initial in the initial beta they had when they were playing it themselves. So there is a big difference. Swarms were a lot bigger, and they seemed like they would actually kill you if they hit you, rather than the little tiny things we have now. So here are the ten things. I have to go over them real quick. Uh, flinch. I absolutely hate flinch. It's unbearable. So after I say this, it's going to go into music and then finish from there. Equipment. C4 specifically, as well as shock charges, concussions, and flashbangs. I think they are incredibly cheap, and I really wish there was a game mode that was just gun-on-gun -gun action that could restrict all the BS that's in this game. Let's see, what else do we have? Uh, Broke-ass spawning. I can't express that anymore than it already is. The spawning in this game, despite me playing multi-team a lot, I do play other game modes, surprisingly. Hardpoint and Dom specifically. Maybe kill confirmed or arms race. I like arms race. Arms race is a great idea. Now, the spawning, it doesn't matter what game mode you're in. Maybe domination, if the people would stay on their sides, then it's okay. But in six man hard point, I just, there's just no spawning basics that you can really have. What's next? Uh, let's see. Burst fire weapons. I do not enjoy those. They're quite cheap being able to one burst by accident. It's not really accidental in most cases, but there is that one time a guy with a SWAT just it's like ah! and kills you in three bullets, one burst to be exact. So the commentary is coming to a close. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any recommendations for music that I could put in a 30 second interval in the beginning of the commentary, then uh, I'll take those recommendations into account and maybe put them in. So if you yeah, didn't leave this, little, little, little.